At least they're still in the box. Of course, my best laid plans going to shit because I, I thought I'd blooming get them orientated to this spot before we get our fish tank up here, and I was going to have it all nicely installed and all organised. And so when the lovely wife comes back, she says, "Oh, that's good." But of course, she come up the stairs to go to work this morning and went, "What's that bloody bee box doing on my outside table?" I said, "Well, it's not staying there. It's going to be okay. It's going to be a fish tank bee box." And she's like. Ah, oh, you stupid bush bee man, you can't put a fish tank on my veranda. And I'm like, oh, you won't even know it's there. I might have gotten ahead of myself. We've got to get the bee box up here yet. Or the aquarium. Oh shit, it's gonna slip out. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's, you've got the... Yeah, no, I got it, yeah. yeah. We should have done it the other way around. Because yeah. I've got the lip. Oh, oh fuck, it's <laughs> Shit, cornering. <laughs> okay, this is officially stupid. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, we're nearly on the home stretch. Then hopefully it fits in that little hole. <laughs> That's my plan, anyway. <laughs> that should fit there perfectly. Oh, look at that. Light bloke, mate. Smash it. You're the one that hit the wall. I know, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> you think the wife would get excited if I cut the bars out so they don't have to negotiate through them? Pretty sure I'd be in the shit. <laughs> well, well, we'll push it up to the edge and see what happens for a start. See how they get on. So we've got our bees in our bee box, which they're pretty close to being orientated to where they are. I reckon the next thing to do is probably to go and get a bee suit on. I was just thinking the wife's taken my ute, as I said earlier, and my smoker's in the back of the ute. So I hope I've got a spare one in the shed. And I'm sure I have, but exactly where is anybody's guess. He's old faithful. <laughs> the first smoker I ever bought. That was before I figured out that you're actually meant to be clean and tidy and not have crap everywhere. Well, that'll keep us amused for a fight. Look at that, they even burn a hole through the jolly thing. <laughs> well, at least the rag's still there. That's good. So maybe we'll just scrape some of that shit off it before we get too excited. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, you poor old thing. Goodness me. Anyway, for all you naysayers that don't think beeswax looks after your wood, there's proof right there. Right. Now we gotta do is figure out where we Hessian is. Goodness me, this is the one that the lid falls off. <laughs> That's got a bit too sad. Oh. Right, you a little rag, a little bit of cloth. A little bit of cloth. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, la, la. That's a long skirt rider. <laughs> I don't think Hessian smoke would have taken off. <coughs> would have had quite the same appeal as a cool. <laughs> what if they were Peter Stuyvesant's? <laughs> One of the ladies have turned up and said, hey, there's a bloke with a smoker, he's doing something bad. <laughs> Doo -doo. I think this is one part of the logistics that I hadn't thought through. How do you get your smoker through your house? Perhaps put your finger on it. <laughs> Here we go! Oh. Here comes the bad man. <laughs> Golly gosh. If you'd like a fish tank on your veranda, go to the website. Thank you, Cokey Doke. Let's see what sort of trouble. Now, if you haven't been following us along, these are the bees we caught out of that tree the other day. So hopefully they're still on their little cluster. Just give them a bit of... Hope they're still in here. Yeah. 
I was just wondering whether we could actually put them somehow, suspend them, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? I'm just wondering should we, which end we should put it in, but I suppose we'll put it towards the door and then work it out. Just wondering if we could stick something through there and hang them up in the air. We'll just sit it in there, you reckon, or shall we try and hang it up? You can feel the warmth that they've created in the middle of this whole section. I think we're just going to sit it in there. And then hopefully when we come back in spring, being that it's in winter time and we're doing this to try and get these girls organised, I don't think we'll pull them apart. And I don't know that we'll try and hang them. I think we'll just sit them in this corner. And then coming forward into summer, when things are a bit more excitable, when there's a lot more food around, we can shake them off and let them start again. But just for now, I don't want to completely kill them, so we're just going to pop them in the box. Tezzies. Tezzies, that's not, that's not English, is it? What's Tezzies mean, you silly man? Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, chicks. I reckon we'll just do that. That'll work. Shake all these girls off of here that we're obviously starting to get established. I think they're a little bit confused. They're trying to go through the glass. They think that's a bit of an idea. There's all crap in the bottom of the box. So we'll clean that up a bit. Surely it has to be a bit better than hanging in a tree when it's minus three or four or whatever it is. But it's surprising, you can feel the warmth from the actual, like when you pick it up, you can feel the, the fact that I'm keeping it warm inside themselves, like inside their own little nest. That's why I'm a bit afraid to pull it apart, because I've been there so wrong time of year to be doing this. I don't want them to get, well, I don't want to be any meaner to them than, than we already are being. I wonder if I just sit it up there for a little bit till they figure it out. Let's just do that. Let's just figure that, sit that up there. Since they're thinking that's where they're going. Because they've got that scent and that look. And they're not really sure what the hell is going on with that glass bottom. And I figure by the time we figure it, they figure out what's going on, we'll go and get ourselves a bit of a cover. And by the time we get back here, we'll see how they've got on. Anyway, if they hate our fish tank, we can always put them back in their box and take them away somewhere else. Probably not really ideal to have a bee box in your veranda, is it? It kind of be cool. I don't know. I had an idea that it'd be cool. Cool. Hey, 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 folks! How are we? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if that could be a rotisserie. Oh, boy! <laughs> boy, a barbecue cover. If you have such things in your cupboard. Next door in the garden centre, my man. In the garden centre. In the garden centre, they are no more, no less. That's it. <laughs> I don't know where they got them, mate, Mark. Oh, that's all right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, Paul Burner, Mark. oh yep. God, I don't know, oh, champ. I knew I should have measured it. So there's a four and a six, I'm guessing. Yep. Well, it's about that long. Yes. So we're four, four, yep. over the top. Anyway, is it money back guarantee if a bloke's got the wrong one? Always is for you, mate. Yeah, I tell you, I like it, I like it. See? That's why you come to your friendly hardware store where they know you. That's the go. <laughs> it's a sun shield as well. Does that mean it's UV stable? Maximum UV resistant. God, maximum bush bee man resistant, that's what it needs to be. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering, should we cut the insulation before we take the box off and stir them up? Nah, we'll be right. What's the worst thing that could happen? Anyway, hopefully they've orientated themselves a little bit. We're gonna get rid of this bit. We'll get rid of their old home. Hopefully there's not too many people still in there. No, nope, they're all gone. That's good, we'll pop that over there. Then we'll pop the rest of our tops on. You could have at least cut them square, couldn't you? <laughs> Sorry, ladies. He's <laughs> a ruffian, this bloke, isn't he? I don't know. 
I think my wife is going to have a fit. We've got a whole veranda full of bees now. <laughs> oh, hopefully they'll settle down in a minute. They're just a little bit upset at the minute. <laughs> yes, I guess I would be too if someone had just ripped me out of my home and stuck me in a glass cage. Could be a bit exciting. Should we put the lid on and then the wrap? Or the wrap before the lid? I think we've got to put the lid on and then wrap it up, I think. <laughs> We're a bit excited. <sighs> so I'm reckoning if we make a little bit of this isolation between there and there, and then we'll put our Barbie cover over the top, and then we'll leave them alone to resettle. What do you reckon? <laughs> you reckon that's going to work or not? Is that just crazy? About there somewhere. About there. <laughs> you reckon we can cut in a straight line? Probably not. The lunar landing. Look out! Here comes the bush bee man. <laughs> I'm not volunteering for Mars. That's not happening. <laughs> Don't think there's many flowers up there. Should we double check this before we cut too much? <laughs> we should just double check that it's going to be about right before we cut too much of it. It's going to give us plenty, so we'll trim it up. We'll make it pretty afterwards. Because it's going straight. Any idea how much we're going to need? Oh! Look at that, I'm getting speed up. Mmm. <laughs> mm. This was a good idea. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll see. Oh dear, oh dear. I thought this might be easier than doing the whole other bits of excitement. Especially since the wife said that we'll put a barbecue over, o cover over it, she won't be fussed. If the bush bee man's wife's approving, you just run with it. That's what I reckon. <laughs> Go with the yes. <laughs> It wasn't really a yes, it was more of a, of a grudging. You're going to do it anyway, I think was the comment. <laughs> right. That's sort of going to work, except we've blocked their entrance in now. <laughs> so we'll have to trim that bit up. No, oh, I don't know, John, this is a bit silly. I think this might have been a silly idea. <laughs> Make it the right length and stick it on there. Like stick it to itself. Do you think? Maybe? I don't know. How do you get it off then? I don't know. Pull the sticky tape apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, what's your bright idea? You got any better ideas? It's not my project. <laughs> well, you're here involved. It really takes some responsibility. <laughs> I don't know, I suppose you could put a clothes peg on it. That could work. <laughs> or I think in the in, I think in the short term, we'll just get some sticky tape and we'll just stick it at the back here and that'll be fine. That's the cameraman's solution to the problem, so. Anyway, very good. <laughs> I reckon that's probably successful. We'll put the lid back on. <laughs> Go on. Then we'll find out if our Barbie cover fits. Might be. What's that? Oh, come on. Well, I think that looks alright because it's 
sort of sitting on the edge there. And they seem a little bit less confused now that they're in the dark. Like rather than having all that glass to look at. So hopefully our four burner barbecue suits. It says two suit a four burner barbecue. Doesn't mention anything about fish tanks. But still. <laughs> oh my lordy. Come on, come on, come on, out you come. Out you come, Barbie cover. Oh, <laughs> It might be a bit big. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a bit of a big cover. Oh well. Yeah, I might just send the bloke to get another clip the way we're going. Oh man. It's alright width wise, I think it's just a bit long. And a bit too far down that way too. <laughs> oh this is not gonna work too well, is it? <laughs> That's a very big barbecue. <laughs> How are we going to fold that up so it doesn't look completely ridiculous? I think one decent wind, I'm going to be in trouble. Hang on, we wiggle that out a bit. for him to get in. Shit. You realise if we cut it then there's no return. <laughs> they won't take it back and they've got a big hole in it for a bee entrance. Mm. This is not going to last long when I do this to it is it? <laughs> Come on they're just being ridiculous. I'm going to pull it away from there. That's just stupid. Stop it. A small earthquake for chicks, reckon. <laughs> mm, I think they tape it down there or something. Shit. Mm. Mm. Have you got any of that U Butte black tape? Where's that live? No, you stole it all. I stole it all already, did I? <sighs> I'll see you in an hour, I'll see if I can go find it. <laughs> God. surprise you when I even found it. Huh, didn't even take me an hour. <laughs> As a matter of fact I just happened to kick the right thing over and there it was. This is not quite how I envisaged this but still. I heard it here. I wasn't exactly sure what I thought it was going to happen but yeah, I should have known, shouldn't I? Ooh. Anyway, this will be a bit temporary, but at least it'll get it covered up. And then, I guess when we've got some more spare time, we'll come back and change it up when this, probably this cover will shit itself before too quick. Too, too long. <laughs> too quick. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, man. Poor old knees. Rightio. We'll tuck it all together. And there we have it. Our barbecue fish tank observation bee box. <laughs> oh. 
So there you go, that's how you can put together a to convert a fish tank into an observation hive when you've got nothing much better to do in the middle of winter. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where I can tell you where you can just grab a bunch of bees out of a tree, but anyway, it just all happened to come together. That was the start of this whole excitement. We found that blooming bees in a tree and we thought, well, I don't know. What are we going to do with them? Well, what the hell, let's put them in a fish tank. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share us with your mates. See ya.